Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim have a shot. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. Um, <clears throat> this is Brother Yamai from GMS Chicago. I'm putting together a short, um, putting together an installment of a series. You know, I wanted to start, you know, the Lord put it on my spirit to do it. It's basically some milk scriptures or, um, what we might refer to as um, <laughs> Hebrews 101, all right? But, um, you know, it's going to be a series. You know, I'm putting together a series called I'm Going Over Certain Topics Due to an Event That Happened Yesterday. Well, I wanted to do it a little while ago, but, um, you know, it, it pumped me up, man, to do it because um, we see how dumb and stupid, you know, and just weak that our people are. And, you know, and, and they still into the, all this falsehood why you got Jake out there teaching flat earth and all this other bullshit and our people still got all these weak strongholds on them, man. So basically, this is the first installment of church versus the Bible. Because you niggas, when I say niggas, I'm talking about blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the children of Israel, according to the Holy Bible. All right? The real children of Israel, not them gutterette Jews over there, them Khazars and those Edomites, you know, from, from, that stem from Amalek. All right, those ain't the Jews of the Bible. That's another lesson. All right, but this is church versus the Bible, you know, and we we going into or women <clears throat> or women teaching the Bible, cause you got a lot of these niggas. They believe it, but that um, our people believe that women can be preachers, man, and pastors and leaders of the flock. That's not in the scriptures, but we gonna get right into it. This is our uh, First Timothy. We're going to break this stronghold right now real fast. All right. All right. Let's get to it. Let me get to this first Timothy. I think it's the second chapter. If I'm not mistaken. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Yep. Here you go. This is uh, 1 Timothy 2, and I'm going to start at verse 11. Let your women, let the women learn in silence <clears throat> with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. So he said a woman is to be in silence, man. A woman ain't supposed to be teaching or, or, or lording over a man. That's folly, man. That's wickedness. That's the from the so-called white man in the Christian church. And we're going to break that, all right? Let the woman, verse 11, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, with nothing to say, man. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Verse 12, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor usurp authority over a man, but to be in silence. For Adam was formed, for Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity with holy and holiness with sobriety. So if they continue in the faith and they stay under your wing as a man of the Lord with their mind right, you know, and they bear your children or whatnot, and it, you know, hey, and you know, they do what they're supposed to do. And silence with all subjection, you know, then they'll be delivered through you. But um, ain't, 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 ain't none of that folly going on, you know. What they teaching these goddamn churches, man. A woman standing up there, you, you giving a woman tithes, and she giving you a sermon. That's wickedness. So Paula White, Joyce Myers, Juanita Bynum, all them women preachers are whores and lesbians, all right? <clears throat> This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 34. That was started 33. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. Go to 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence. Let go that word silence again. Let your women keep silence in the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded, commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their own husbands at home. 
for it is a shame for women to speak in the church what came the word of Yahweh out from you or came it unto you only if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual let him acknowledge the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord Amen. man he said so the woman's supposed to be in obedience and the silence if they need to learn anything let them ask their own husband at home man you know matter of fact let me get this last one you know to put the nail in the coffin all right <clears throat> this is uh first corinthians 11 and um verse 8 for a man is not of the woman but the woman of the man neither was the man created for the woman but the woman for the man all right but the woman for the man matter of fact read 11 nevertheless Neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. Because the both two go together, you know. The Lord, you know, but the Lord created the woman to serve the man, but they need each other, you know, as a, as a balance, you know. But um, with that being said, man, I hope, hopefully that short lesson was edified. The you Lord know, will be looking for more installments. You know, with that being said, all praise, honor, and glory due to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah, the ones to the elders, possible great meals to all the Shalom to the hopeful elect. You know, church versus the Bible. You know, the first installment. Shalom.